What's up, everybody? This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. I guess I shouldn't say everybody. I should say what's up to you because there's only one person watching this video, right? How you doing this morning, man? How you doing this morning, young lady? You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing all right? That's great. That's great. Um, today, I want to talk about something that's so basic, but so, so powerful. I want to talk about the importance of reading. That's right, reading. And before you turn this video off and before you feel like, man, I know the importance of reading already, my question to you is, okay, well, do you read every day? Because if not, you might be slipping on one of the most powerful techniques, one of the most powerful things that you can do to increase your income, to increase your life, to increase everything. Reading is one of those foundational pieces that will help your entire life. And I know it sounds so easy to say that, and it's like, man, come on, man. It's, it's, it's about more than just reading. No, oh, I'm telling you, man, there's something about reading. See, the way I'm talking to you right now, all it is is words. I want you just to imagine if you couldn't even see my face and you couldn't even see me talking right now, but all you saw was the words going across the screen, the words, just the words. That's essentially what it is, really. So words are powerful. And I'm about to teach you a, a secret, man. And this is something that um, I'm surprised I haven't talked about this already on a, vi on a video. I know, I, I know a way that you can download information into your brain just like a computer. You can download words into your brain just like a computer. And you can learn about any and everything you want. It's an app. And the app is called Speechify. You can look online. You can look it up. Now, it's an investment. Speechify costs about $130, I think, for the whole year. But what you can do with Speechify is almost astounding. And one day I'm gonna get online, I mean, I'm gonna get on there so I can show you basically what you can do with Speechify. Is you can get an article from online, you can actually take a picture of a, the words in a book, you can do a lot of different things, you can get a PDF, you pull it into Speechify, and now Speechify will read the words to you while highlighting each word as it goes across the page. So I put my headphones in, um, what I like to do is I might read an article in the morning, right? I try to make it a habit. I'll read an article. I'll look at the articles that are the big articles in the news. And instead of just reading one article, because it typically takes me a little bit of time to get through an article, I'll download about five articles from different news organizations or from different websites about the same topic. I'll grab all of those articles and, and pull them into Speechify. Uh, Speechify has a, a thing where you can turn up the speed in which the words are being read to you and how fast it's going across the screen. Guys, let me explain something to you. I'll put my headphones in. And while it's talking to me, it's reading the article. It's like a robotic voice, but the voice sounds like you and me. The technology is getting to the point, man, where you can't tell it's not real a real human. It sounds like, and you can change all that. You can change to all these different voices. It can be a male voice, a woman voice, a British voice, somebody with an accent. I don't think you're going to find a Nigerian voice on there. That would be cool. You know what I mean? You're not going to find like a Gucci man voice on there. That would be hilarious. But nah, man, you can change the voices. You can listen back to it. And essentially what I can do in 10 minutes of time is I'll turn the speed up, put my headphones in, I'll get a little notepad out. I'm giving you the game. I'm, I'm just breaking down to you what I do every morning. And I'll listen to about five articles about the same topic from different news uh, sites. But I'll be reading though. I'll just be following along with the, uh, with the highlights. And see what happens is 
it's, it's forcing you to read much faster because your eyes are going across. It's almost like you're speed reading, but you can also hear it. So you're absorbing the information. You're downloading the information. So in 10 minutes in the morning, I might read four or five articles about the same thing. During that period of time, I'll hit pause on Speechify. I'll pause, jot down a little note. Hit play, start, you know, start back. Pause, jot down another little note. See, these types of things are, are giving me the ability to be able to absorb, comprehend, and recall a lot more information than your average human being. Now, am I saying that I'm like superhuman? No, I'm not superhuman. But I have, over my, over my lifetime on this earth, I've developed small techniques that give me a 1% increase here, a 2% increase there, a 4% increase there. Next thing you know, I'm 10% better than most human beings. Not better, but it's based on techniques. So I've already known the importance of reading and I try to read more. But this way, it's allowing me to read probably, I probably read the equivalent of a book a month. I want you to really think about that. And reading, a lot of you guys might be like, man, I ain't got time for that. Oh, you got time to read. Because when you don't read, see, reading affects a lot more than you think. Reading helps you to be able to speak better. It helps you be, to be able to relay your thoughts better. When you're talking to somebody who reads a lot, oh, that's a big difference. When you're talking to somebody and they read all the time, you almost feel like a dumbass because it becomes very clear real quick, especially if they're uh, an expert on a particular topic that they've been reading about and you ain't been reading about it. Oh, you feel dumb as hell. You're like, how does this person know so much more than me, man? They just so much smarter than me. No, it ain't smarter. They just have a habit of reading. So I want to encourage you guys to read every single day. Every single day. I'm not talking about reading social media. I'm not talking about reading on Facebook. Although, I guess that is still reading. But I want to challenge you to read full-length articles, full books. You know, get deep with it, you know. Start developing some, some like a full understanding of certain things. Get multiple perspectives. We working with something real powerful up here. A lot of people are not, are not tapped into how to uh, fully maximize it. Um, you know, it starts off when you're very young. If you can read, there's no way in hell you're gonna be poor. If you can read, a, if you can read really well and you read constantly, you can't be poor. It just doesn't act. It doesn't make sense. How can you be poor but you read constantly? See, the two don't. The two don't don't equate. The people that are the most powerful in this world, they read. You don't have to believe me. And see. This is something that it took me a while to realize because a lot of you, a lot of you guys might not notice. I had to repeat the fifth grade. Yeah, I was off the chain, man. I was in the fifth grade acting a fool. I got class clown award. All I wanted to do was make people laugh. Oh, that's all I wanted to do. I was like the jester, the royal fool. You know what I'm saying? People be like, say something funny, man. Say something funny. You know, and I took on that role. I was like, yeah, I'm the funny guy. <laughs> Look at me, you know, but but really, man, like, that's not what you want. Not unless you're trying to be a comedian. And I thought about that, too. I was like, maybe I could be a comedian. But my humor, I think my humor is different because it's like only certain people think I'm funny. Other people would be like, that wasn't even that funny. But that's neither here nor there. Because I had to repeat the fifth grade, for a long time, I felt as though I was inadequate. I felt like I was stupid. I'm gonna just keep it real with you. I didn't feel like I was smart. 
people used to talk about me all the time when I was in class. I used to get picked on and choned and all this other stuff. You know, of course I wasn't gonna let that slide. I got into a lot of fights and things like that because people kept playing with me, you know what I mean? Like kept trying me or whatever when I was in fifth grade, sixth grade, you know. And so I think as a result of that, I always had this chip on my shoulder. It was always a little chip. The chip never really went away, man. So because that chip was there, it always made me feel like I was less than, like, like man, damn, am I dumb? Is that why I had to repeat the fifth grade? Am I not smart enough? So then pretty early on, I would say like, maybe senior year of high school, some click. And I guess that's not too early on, really. Cause I barely graduated high school. Let me just get that out of the way. I had like a 2.0. Barely got up out of there. But something clicked where I was like, oh, wait a minute. If I read a lot, if I read a lot, then I'll be able to sound like I know what I'm talking about. That, that was one of the most important things for me, just to sound like I know what I'm talking about. Even if I don't know what I'm talking about, at least I can fake it till I make it. That was very, very important to me. I wanted to be viewed as someone who was intelligent. Like, I don't like, I don't like to, uh, I'm not okay with somebody thinking I'm not intelligent. And there's a lot of reasons for that. You know, look at how black people are profiled in this country, man. And I'm not gonna get too deep into that, but yeah, like no, nobody expects, you know, nobody expects a black man to be well-read Let's just keep it real. I mean, we know they exist, but the perception is they're like a unicorn. The perception is like a well-read black man is like a unicorn. Or Bigfoot. Or a shooting star or something. Like, you just don't see them very often. That's what people think. It's because half the time, man, we're so caught up in the wrong things. We want to be perceived as we want to be perceived that we're making money, not understanding that to make money, you need to be intelligent. And to be intelligent, you need to be reading a lot. I know you see the rappers with the money. I know. I know you see them with the gold teeth and the gold chains and the, I know I sound old as hell, don't I? I know you see them with the, uh, with the designer clothes and cars and stuff like that. You know, a lot of these guys are just extremely talented there's gonna come a point in time where they need to read. That talent is gonna get washed up so quick because they might not have read over their contracts. They might not be fully versed on what's going on. Some people learn through experience. Well, everybody learns through experience. Some people learn a little bit more through reading. So I'm willing to bet you that the most successful rappers, they read a lot. They read a lot and they write a lot. Where are they gonna come up with the what the content's gonna come from? These guys are big, big readers, man. Don't let them, don't let them fool you, bro. A lot of that stuff is a facade, man. The most successful rappers, the ones that are, you know, people like Drake. You know, these guys. All you gotta do is listen to their lyrics. The lyrics will tell you right away if they read. When you start hearing words that you're like, hold on, man. This dude is saying words and concepts that are just blowing me away. It's because they read. Don't let them fool you, man. Reading is so important. It might not be the sexy thing to do, I know. But just do it in the quiet of your own home, man. But do it every single day. Read. Read until you have a headache. Read. Read all the time. Now, I guess the next question is, well, what do I read? Just read what makes you happy. Read things that are of interest to you. And don't just read a little piece of it. Read all of it. Do you know how much we don't know? The more you read, the more you realize what you don't know. And the more you don't know, the more it makes you want to read. And it's just like a muscle. It's just like a muscle. It's a muscle and it's a habit and it's a foundational principle. For all my basketball players out there, Reading is like practicing free throws. 
Okay, you're a starter. You're in the game. You got the ball in your hands. The team is expecting you to help them win. You did good all game, but you get fouled. Five seconds left on the clock, and you're down two. And you cannot hit a free throw. You're missing every free throw. And so what are you doing? You're losing the game, guys. Reading will help you win the game. We, reading is one of those things that takes you over the top. It separates you. It keeps you from being average. You will have a much more clear mind when you read. That's all I got for today, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I inspired some people to go out there and start reading. Just pick up a book. There's books all around you. Dust it off. Blow that dust off. Open that book up. Read a little bit every day until you're done with that book. And then when you're done with that one, go to the next one. It's going to be hard at first because you're going to be like, man, this is boring. I'm getting a headache. My eyes hurt. Just keep doing a little bit every day. You'll get to the point where you can read much, much more than you think in one sitting. Man, I was at a point where I was reading for like hours at a time. What do you think these guys do, man? Like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, all the, all the like super rich people. Bro, a lot of their waking time, a lot of their time when they're awake is spent reading. It's spent reading. It's spent reading. So don't play with it. It's very powerful. I'm going to holler at you guys next time, man. Peace. Oh, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below, man. How much do you read? Be honest. The last time you read, was it Dr. Seuss? Come on, man. What's the last book you read, man? Comment down below, bro. I want to know. I'm going to holler at you guys. Peace.